In SolidWorks 2026, there are many enhancements and improvements for navigation performance and also uh, support better for tilting across multiple monitors and more. Let's see what's new in 2026. Let's see what's new in user interface. Here in Design Tree Manager, if you right click and then customize, you can hide and show manager bands tables to let you focus on tabs, something like this. This is first new in user interface here new in interface you can show dismiss message if you click here in the status bar uh, you find the under message and error dismisses message all your dismiss messages in table like this let's see what is new in parts and features here in parts and features in uh, reference geometry you can create a new point by just define uh, numerical values for x y let's try uh, type 100 100 for all of this 100 100 we have created point new point the second new thing in partisan feature it is you can create a bounding box by using coordinate system first of all create your coordinate system and then go to reference geometry create bounded box uh, type uh, bounded box maybe uh, rectangle cylinder here you can find coordinate system then you select your coordinate system press ok now you have created bounded box you can show from here and now let's see what's new in sheet metal module you can specify start condition when you create base flange this is a new in sheet metal let's create new base flange here from this is new you can offset your reference pin like this you can select reference uh, like uh, surface face vertex this is new and now let's see what's new in well domains and the structure system module and now you can add uh, or accessing cut list properties from file properties here from file go to properties and you can add something like this test to type text and then go to cut list properties you can measure uh, length by just click here or any uh, evaluated value you wish. and now let's see the second update thing in structure system uh, in corner management just edit features go to complex in complex you can select a right combination of trim type and trim order from a graphic area here if i just click on this point i have uh, varieties of uh, combination like this I can change from here or from graphic area. That's new. In assembly, there is new symbol update, uh, no longer uh, required for rebuild. If I change uh, anything in form and model like this, let's change it to 30. And this make your workflow faster and smoother, especially in large assembly. In drawing, the new thing is you can add uh, gaps between dimensions lines to avoid the overlapping dimension text and annotations. Let's see how to do this. If I just click here and go to leaders, then click, you can add gap. Let's change it five millimeter. Use it as you can see. There are gap. Let's make it bigger, ten millimeter. Now, also I can format better this here here or i need to repeat gap again 10 millimeter let's make it 20. as you can see there are new gap when you change the sheet format of drawing uh, solidworks automatically scale each element of your drawing in appropriate size uh, let's try if i change properties of this sheet uh, currently this is a3 if i select a4 you can see scaling automatic also when you create the geometric turn and symbol range you can add uh, text and symbol let's try if i go to geometric turns and select this face and uh, type turns one or select firstly this is straightness you can change here zone features material maximum then you can add text something like this
Also, you can add uh, or insert a new symbol in uh, surface finish. If I select surface finish like this, here I can insert set my symbol and tolerance like this. Configuration Manager tab, there is a new feature called uh, Configuration Table, uh, which makes it easy to manage multiple design variation in one file. Just right click and select Show Tables. You can find all uh, configurations in one table like this. You can change what you wish. Also new, new options to split your configurations. Uh, this functionality offers a different uh, way to work with configurations of model. Now in simulation, you have more flexibility to applying force on beams like this. If I go to bodies, beam, select your beams. You can apply per item or total like this. When you work in buckling study, you can extract only positive uh, buckling factors and modes for models that use to run a uh, buckling uh, study. And this most updated in SOLIDWORKS 2026. And uh, I hope this video is useful for you. My regard is Ali Nasser.